Okay, good morning. I'm Zach Walker, City Manager for the City of Independence. We're doing our City Manager Job Shadow Series again today. Out of the office, out of the suit, out here with Trent. Trent, you're in our Municipal Services Division. Yep. Why don't you tell the fine folks of Independence about yourself and what you do for the city? Um, I'm Trent Shoup. I've been with Street Maintenance for about four years. Um, I'm basically just do day-to-day -day operations for uh, streets, debris pickup, um, basically winter operations. Used to be mowing, and we still do some mowing, but I basically just handle the day-to-day -day operations of street maintenance. Okay, and Trent, one of the things street maintenance deals with is litter and debris removal. It's obviously a big priority for our citizens. Can you tell us a little bit about what goes into that? Yep, it's basically and basically every week we do debris, whether it's um, whether it's homeless camps, just debris in the right of way. It could be furniture, um, debris like brush, trees, anything. But I mean, it's the main cause is just illegal dumping, um, homeless camps, basically stuff coming. Like today, we're looking at a spot where grocery store debris, like people that illegal dump, like at dumpsters gets blown, blown across the road when we have storms and stuff that we pick up. I mean, there's a lot to go, that, there's a lot that goes in to picking up debris. It's almost an everyday thing or could be an everyday thing. But I mean, to keep the city looking clean, it's, it's, it's an everyday thing. So right now they're picking up trash. And as you can see, this is some mowing that we do. The grass is so tall here. So it basically hides trash. So basically we have to come in here and pick the trash out of this grass before we mow it. Because if we mow it before we pick the trash, it'll just be scattered everywhere and then it'll be harder to pick up. But right now they have to walk through this whole right away section that's tall that we mow probably three times a year just to knock it down because it's a side obstruction issue. We're out here uh, working hard, picking up this lovely trash. It's in our public right of way. Uh, we have found lots of interesting things out here. Got a journal right here if you want to come claim that. Uh, we've also found some discarded checks. In talking to our crews, they find a lot of random stuff out here. So it's not just the messes, but it's the personal effects out here too. Kyle, I got your mixtape here. If you want to come pick this up at City Hall? All right, Trent, we're back here in the middle of nowhere. I think we'll avoid telling people where we're at so we don't give anybody out there any ideas. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, middle of nowhere and yet the huge illegal dumping area. Talk to us about what our crew's got to do uh, in areas like this. Yeah, it's like what we hit on before, we can't actually work on potholes and stuff that citizens can actually see. This is a perfect example of a dead end street that's secluded in Eastern Independence, like more towards out in the county, that's a city road. Um, we always come out here and we take dump trucks and just loads of um, brush, furniture, household trash. I think you were telling me on the way over here, you've got about 12 to 15 people right now in yeah. the street maintenance division. Um, like a lot of places in America, filling vacant positions is hard right yeah. now. There's a labor shortage out there. Um, so you're trying to stretch these resources as far as you can. And the point that you're making is we're not actually focusing on street maintenance as much as we could be because we're cleaning up other people's messes that they've made that present health and safety issues for the rest of the community. Yeah. We, on average, we have, like I said, when I started four years ago, we have nine. When I, right now, we have 14. I mean, in two weeks, it could be down to 12. I mean, on average, we have 10 to 14 or 15 people at any given time for 1,200 lane miles, and that's basically about half of what we need to do just to maintain streets. That's not counting doing illegal dumping. That's not counting doing side obstructions and other stuff that we are required to do for the city. So we would rather be out doing potholes and doing streets and maintaining streets, but we also have other duties to clean up illegal dumping and all the other issues that we're responsible for. So, it's right. been a pretty enlightening day so far. Um, Obviously, when anybody thinks of street maintenance, we're probably thinking about paving roads, filling in potholes, fixing curbs and sidewalks, uh, even doing snow removal in the wintertime. What doesn't really jump out the front of your mind is bringing crews out here to clean up illegal dumping. Um, 
we are a city of uh, enormous size, 78 square miles. Uh, that's a lot of ground to keep up with, um, a lot of territory that we need to maintain. So when we have to dedicate our resources and focus to illegal dumping issues, it's making it difficult to get to the things we get a lot of other calls about, like I mentioned, the potholes or even the right of way mowing. If you've seen tall grass along the roads, maybe blocking an intersection or a stop sign, those are all important issues and I'm glad you're calling those in. But just keep in mind, um, it takes all hands and the more we can encourage our friends and neighbors to use legal services like either trash service or our monthly drop off depots, um, those are the kind of things that are gonna help take our um, focus away from illegal dumping and allow us to do the other things that our citizens are caring about. Okay, Trent, we're wrapping up our day. Um, we've really learned a lot about the things that street maintenance gets into that maybe they shouldn't, but we have to. Um, illegal dumping cleanup, um, getting trash out of the right of way. I know we've harped on that a lot today, but just remind uh, our citizens again why it's so important to, to take that issue seriously. Um, it's important for citizens to know to take it seriously because Instead of doing these things like illegal dumping, trash pickup, getting pulled off of other jobs that citizens would actually like to like have done, like your potholes, street repairs, just maintaining streets, sidewalks, and curbs and stuff like that, just remember that with all these other issues that we have to take care of, we're not getting this other stuff done. So it's important, like I said, to even as much as if keeping your, your tra household trash in trash cans. A lot of the stuff we deal with is just trash blowing like we get a heavy wind or storm. We have to go pick up trash because the neighbors don't like that somebody's trash gets blown all over and we go pick it up. So it's just just little things that like citizens can do to help us so we can actually do stuff to make the city look better like on the streets and other stuff. Okay, well Trent, thank you for showing us around on that today. Um, Everybody, try to do your part to keep our city clean, uh, picked up, looking good, and so we can make sure we're doing the stuff that's really important, like taking care of our streets, sidewalks, all that good stuff. Kyle, come get your CD. Megan, come get your journal. The rest of you have a safe and happy Labor Day.